this is 8 pin MOSFETs. These four MOSFETs are 8 pin MOSFETs. Okay, so we will test and check these MOSFETs using the multimeter. Okay, basically, this flat SMD MOSFETs exist in the power circuit of the processor. Okay, so this MOSFET basically has as a purpose to power to give the power for the CPU in the motherboard, in the laptop motherboard. Okay, so we're gonna check it using the multimeter. So let's now check between drain and source, we get a low resistance. Okay, we get a low resistance. Is that means the MOSFET is bad? No, we measure just the resistance of the CPU. So we should remove the CPU and check again the MOSFETs. We will find another reading, a different reading. Now we remove the CPU, as you can see. So let's check again the MOSFET. Okay. Normally we should get a high reading, about 300 or 400 drop voltage. As you can see, we get 388 drop voltage. Means the MOSFET is good, is a good MOSFET. If we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter. Okay. As you can see means this MOSFET is a good MOSFET but if we put back the processor to its socket we're gonna get a low resistance so now we put back the processor let's check as you can see we get 0 to 5 means this is basically the resistance of the processor not the MOSFET okay so pay attention for MOSFETs near to the processor or to the CPU hi in this video we're gonna see how to test smd mosfets including four 8p mosfets 3p mosfets and flat mosfets so basically this is the circuit or the schematic for the mosfet as you can see we have three pins for source the fourth pin for the gate and the other four pins for drain as you can see here basically this is 8 pin MOSFETs as you can see okay and this is also 8 pin MOSFETs but we call this MOSFET a flat MOSFET and over here we have a 3 pin MOSFET we have the MOSFET here always 3 pins for source the 4 pin for gate and the 4 other pin is for the drain always this dot over here as you can see or the white dot means the pin number 1 so we gonna use the multimeter to now, how to test any SMD MOSFET, okay? So, of course, let's begin with this kind of MOSFETs. Basically, this is a MOSFET with three terminals or four terminals. Always here, the terminals in the middle are connected together, are for drain. So, let's check these two terminals in the middle. Using the multimeter, we're gonna get, as you can see, we have zero ohm in the multimeter. So let's check between source and drain. We get a reading in the multimeter, means basically this is a good MOSFET. So if we swap the probes, as you can see, nothing in the multimeter. This is a good MOSFET and this is a PMP MOSFET. Now we're gonna check and test this kind of MOSFETs, 8 pin MOSFETs, as you can see, okay, so here its reference in the motherboard is U, basically for the MOSFETs we find Q, but in some motherboards we can find U, so always you should locate the first pin, okay, or the source and the drain, so for this MOSFET, for example, these three terminals are for source, this one is for the gate, and these four terminals are drain. Okay, so let's check now these MOSFETs. Okay, now as you can see, this is the source. We should find that these three terminals are connected together, as you can see in the multimeter. Okay, we get zero, as you can see. These three terminals are connected together. So let's check the four terminals for the drain. As you can see, also the four terminals are connected 
together, as you can see. So let's check the fourth one, as you can see. So all four terminals are connected together. So this is basically how you can check or you can locate the source and the drain. But of course, you should use always the dot or the white mark near to the MOSFET to locate the first pair. So let's check this one here. Between source and drain, we get a reading about 423 drop voltage. If we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter. So this is basically n channel MOSFET. Okay, let's check this MOSFET also. We get a reading between source and drain, we get the same reading in the multimeter, it means this is basically a good MOSFET. So between gate and source, nothing in the multimeter. Between gate and drain, nothing in the multimeter. Means this is basically a good MOSFET. Okay. So always a good MOSFET gives a reading just between drain and source. Okay. So here we have another kind of MOSFET with three terminals. Basically, we'll find this kind of MOSFET in the computer motherboard. Okay, or in the old laptop motherboard. Okay, so this pin here in the middle is the drain. It is always connected to the other side of the MOSFET. So this is the drain. So let's check between source and drain. We get a reading as you can see. Okay, if you get any continuity or buzzer means the MOSFET is bad. When we swap the props, nothing in the multimeter. Okay. Here we have another MOSFET that we're gonna check. Here we have the gate, drain, here, also here, and we have the source. So let's check between source and drain. So nothing in the multimeter. Let's swap the props. We get a 410, about 415 in the multimeter, means this is basically a good MOSFET. Okay. Here we have other kind of MOSFET. Basically, this is a small three pins SMD MOSFET. Okay. Always you should locate the gate, drain, and source. Using the same working principle, we can check between source and drain. We should get a reading. Okay, in one direction here, we didn't get any reading. If we swap the props, as you can see, we get a reading about 517 drop voltage. Okay, and between drain and gate or gate and source, nothing in the multimeter. Means this is a good MOSFET. So let's check the second one here. Okay, so always between gate or between drain and source. We should get a reading, as you can see, this, we get a reading here, about 600. If we swap the props, we should not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see, nothing in the multimeter. Means also this is a serviceable MOSFET. So between source and gate or drain and gate, nothing in the multimeter, as you can see. So, as a summarize, you should always know that a good MOSFET is a MOSFET that gives a reading while testing it between source and drain. And if you get any continuity while testing any MOSFET, means the MOSFET is failed, is bad, unless you touch the gate of the MOSFET using the red probe of the multimeter. So, for the MOSFETs, there is exception. For the MOSFETs near to the processor or the MOSFETs in the circuit, in the power circuit of the, mo of the processor, you can get a low resistance. But this doesn't mean the MOSFET is shorted or failed. No, you should first remove the processor and check that MOSFET. Okay? Of course, you should find a high level, a drop voltage about 300, 400, 500, 600, or 700. Okay? Okay? Exactly as we have here. When we remove the processor, we get this reading about 388. Okay? As you can see. So, but if we put back the processor, we will get a low resistance. 
exactly like this. This is basically the resistance of the processor, not the MOSFET. Okay, so please pay attention to this point. Thank you.